Abel Khan Amancourt is competing in his first AIBA World Boxing Championships here. And the 20-year-old from Kazakhstan has made it all the way through to the gold medal bout. Upsetting some terrific boxers along the way, most notably the Olympic champion Arlen Lopez at the quarter-final stage. Alexander Kizniak is the reigning European champion at both the senior level and the under-22 level from earlier this summer. And it's a face that is fixed with focus as he strides purposefully towards the blue corner for locking horns with Abdul Khan Amankol of Kazakhstan in what promises to be an absolutely fascinating 75 kilogram middleweight gold medal bout. A man caught at a slight height disadvantage. That's how he went against Cameron Shaksavali. That was a hard punching encounter between he and the man from Azerbaijan. Kizniak likes to apply front foot pressure at the 2015 edition of the World Championships. He was competing in a light heavyweight division where he lost to the eventual silver medalist Joe Ward in the second preliminary round. He's since shed six kilos, dropped down to middleweight, and what dividends has he reaped for the 22-year-old from the Poltava region. Well, what a brisk start to the 75-kilogram middleweight gold medal bout because the boxer wearing blue... Alexander Kizniak of Ukraine has come out firing from both flanks in pursuit of Abil Khan Amankul, the boxer wearing red, operating out of the southpaw stance. But Amankul, a cool operator, looking to pick his punches off that back foot. But Kizniak knows one way to box, and that is in forward gear, pedal to the metal, and walk down your opponent and let punches go from both flanks. But Amankul... Has adjusted well here, using that right hand illegally, I hasten to add. There's a bit of a range finder, just holding it out like a stick in the face of Kizniak and moving effectively to the side. Well, the Kazakhstan camp will know all about Kizniak and, and his style of boxing. He's on that front foot constantly, and it does look impressive. Amankul, he's got to just concentrate on keeping a, a, a gap and a distance between himself and Kizniak, but also Ronald. The movement is very important against um, Kizniak. You can't go back in a straight line. You must move around him so you're not conceding ground. It's very, very important. From a judge's perspective, they always seen Kiz Kizniak going forward. That's why they like him. They like that front foot pressure boxer. So a man call here, he's got to hit, he's got to move, but he's got to move around the opponent, keeping the guard nice and high in case them hooks come across, but not to concede by going backwards because that just invites more pressure like that from Kizniak. Oh, terrific left hand straight down the pipe from a man called and Kizniak did back up. Now, has he been buzzed by that shot? Because that's a posture we seldom see him take up in a boxing ring. But he had to take a few step back, steps backwards after that right left hand, excuse me, that southpaw left came straight down the pipe. But then look at the success that Kizniak is enjoying. Dislodging the mouthpiece. That was unfortunate there for um, Amankul. I think he, he heard the referee's instruction. He, see, he seemed to back away, didn't he? Kizniak obviously didn't hear the instruction, and it looked like Kizniak was pushing him back to the corner. He actually hit him a couple of times also. Oh, both men finding their range pretty quickly in this opening round. Kizniak again straightening out that... Excuse me. Amankul again straightening out that right hand and scoring with the southpaw left between the high-held gloves of the man in blue. Hard left hand to the body dug in by the man in red. Look how square he is, Kijniak. I mean, he gets away with it time and again, but Amankul, he delivered a lovely shot downstairs to the body. 
No, Kizniak, he's very, very strong, flat-footed, but he's walking onto shots. But again there, he gets home with his shot, and he's actually hurt a mankle. Yep, cuffing right hand landed on the inside, and now it's a mankle who's looking to hold on. So both boxers have felt the power of their opponent. Both of them have passed the chin check as a left hand gets through once again. Same shot once more. What a round of boxing in the 75 kilogram middleweight final. Terrific stuff. And it, it'll all, it may come down, Ron, to what those judges like to see. Do they prefer that front foot pressure from Kijniak? We've seen it many times in this tournament that they have preferred that style of boxing. But a mankle there came back with some lovely shots of his own. But throughout the round, the majority of it, this fella on that front foot just keeps coming forward. Pressure boxer. Good left hand there. Coming so square with his feet. He's prepared to take a punch to actually land one. But a mankle did very well at the end. But that's all that you, the, the Ukraine boxer knows. He's on that front foot. And he's very strong indeed. So we're into the second round then. In a 75 kilogram middleweight final that has been characterized by some hard, accurate punching throughout the first three minutes. Heads came together there. But again, both boxers really planting their feet into the canvas and getting plenty of leverage behind their shots. A man called walking his man back across the entire space of the boxing ring. But Kizniak back on into that front foot posture once again. You see, you can see a man called he's desperate to keep that gap between himself and Kijniak. That's why he just keeps on pouring out that lead hand. Then the referee's already told him about it once, so he's got to watch what he's doing, a man called, but he just needs the space. You see, when I talk about going around the opponent, you've got to keep the hands high because of those hooks that will come around the side, just like that one did from Kijniak. A man called has had an absolutely sensational tournament. This is his fifth bout of Hamburg 2017. In the second preliminary round, he eliminated the tournament number eight seed from Germany, Silvio Schürrle. Then at the quarterfinal, a 3-2 split decision win as he's bobbing and weaving and employing the shoulder roll in the corner. But a 3-2 split decision win at the quarterfinal stage over the tournament number one seed, the number one ranked boxer in the world, Arlen Lopez, who came in as the champion and gold medalist of every territory open to him. World champion, Olympic champion, America's champion, Pan Am Games champion. And then that aforementioned hard-fought semi-final victory over the tournament number four seed and Olympic bronze medalist Kamran Shaksavali of Azerbaijan. A man called, he's showing signs of, of tight, he's, he's tired here, Ronald. Kitsunyak knows it, he senses that his opponent's tired, he's hanging on too much on the inside, he keeps working on the, uh, too much on the inside, and then he goes for a, a walk on the outside, also a man called, so... I think the sign's there that he's actually tiring, and Kizniak, he knows it. He's caught him with a couple of good left ducks. Another good shot there went in from the man in blue. Well, we've expounded on the long, hard tournament that a man called has had. Has had. No bout has been easy. And here in his fifth bout, he's just been forced backwards, knocked off balance by the fusillade, and then eating a stiff left jab. He's bobbing and weaving in the corner. His right hand still perilously low, and Kizniak is helping himself. Shots around the corner, hooks, uppercuts going in. A man called trying to fight back, but he's being outgunned. Right hand crashes home once again. And a man called keeping his eye on his opponent, trying to counter, but he's coming out second best during this portion of the round. That's a good left hand through the middle as a man called bites down on his mouthpiece and tries to get himself back into the stanza after being put under significant pressure by Kizniak. He's showing some bottle here, the man in red, because he was caught with big shots. This is a real dominant round for Kizniak. Oh! There was a big right hook just before the bell, and it knocked a man called sideways, because as you said, Richie, he was put under significant pressure from Kizniak. Tried to rally late on, but ended up getting caught at the end of the round once again. I thought that was a terrific round for Kijniak. And this fella just gave off, I think, um, Kijniak just sensed that he was tiring. 
and he comes forward and cuts him with a couple of good shots. So here's the left hook. There's, so he's moving around, but his, his hands are too low. So he gets caught with the left hand timing again. But as the round went on, he seemed to recover somewhat, a man caught. Although he's on the receiving end there of a big left hook. And he showed some bottle, the Kazakhstan boxer, but he clearly lost that round. So into the third and final round in this 75 kilogram middleweight gold medal bout and it's the reigning European champion who is onto the front foot and keeping his man confined over in the neutral corner. Abil Khan, a man called the reigning Asian championship bronze medalist, started brightly using his right hand as a rangefinder out of that southpaw stance. But then as the contest has progressed and particularly in the second round, he's found himself in this type of position all too often and helping himself to a forceful one-two combo is Alexander Kizniak. Terrific punch picking from him. And it's as though a man called can either bob and weave or launch offense. It's not as though he can do both at the same time. Really feeling the pace here in the third and final round of what is his fifth contest here at Hamburg 2017. I think Amankul is actually just boxing on instinct here, Ronald, because his, his ring craft is awful. He just keeps going from corner to corner, and that's what you don't want to be doing. You invite in the pressure, the judges can see that you're in trouble, and you just restrict your movement when you, and you go into those corners. So, And I really believe he's not recovered, he's boxing on instinct. Well, he's targeting that left uppercut, he got through with the first one. Approaching the midpoint of this third and final round, a man caught with a glance over to his red corner who were exhorting him to keep his hands up and keep his wits about him, but he takes another stiff right hand and the referee has intervened. Now, is that going to be for a count or is a mouthpiece being dislodged? Yeah, and he's been dislodged yeah. for a second time. Now, the first time he was perhaps unfortunate, but when a fighter has the mouth hanging open, trying to gasp in oxygen, well, it's increasing the likelihood of the, the mouthpiece being dislodged. Oh, one-two combination again of beautiful punches from Kizniak. And he's running on fumes here, is a man called bobbing and weaving in the corner, but he's being picked off. Another right hand crashes home. Minute still to go for a man called. I mean, this contest all changed in that second round when he seemed to tire and Kizniak picked up on it and then really did start the ball rolling, didn't it? But in this round, the ring craft of the Kazakhstan boxer is awful. He keeps going from corner to corner, and that's just inviting pressure, and he gets caught again. Well, a man caught desperately tired here up in the, in the third and final round, drives a hard left hand to the body, but he's been pushed to the margins of this contest, and Alexander Kizniak just relentless with his forward march, and we saw him in similarly dominant fashion in the European final, where he punched Cameron Shaksavali of Azerbaijan all around the ring, but he did it for a more sustained period than he's demonstrating here. But once again, the extraordinary conditioning of Alexander Kizniak and his punch accuracy once he gets his man going are coming to the fore in this World Championship gold medal bout. Back into the breach he steps, looking to unload once again from both flanks. A man caught, looking to hold on, and at the conclusion of the contest, Kizniak's compatriot, Dr. Steelhammer, Vladimir Klitschko, applauding what he's just witnessed there because Alexander Kizniak would not be denied. He got on the front foot from the opening bell. A man caught, boxed effectively in the opening round, but in rounds two and three, this man got himself into a dominant position, picking off his opponent repeatedly, landing several hurtful shots to both body and head and he was relentless throughout the final two rounds of this gold medal bout. I don't think you'll see a more dominant final than that, to be quite honest. Mankel did have a, a fairly decent opening round, but second and third round, total one-way traffic. Alexander Kizniak roars with delight at having been crowned world champion here in Hamburg 2017, a unanimous points decision winner over Abil Khan Amankul, the Asian Championship bronze medalist, 
comes away with silver here. But the man who has found renewed energy to celebrate in exuberant fashion is Alexander Kizniak. Two years ago in Doha, Qatar, he contested the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division. He has trimmed down by some six kilograms. And what a difference he has made. It has made to his boxing an irresistible force steamrolling his way forwards throughout the tournament and he did exactly that throughout the three three minute rounds of the gold medal bout and he has been crowned world champion and he took the title in dominant fashion with a hard hitting display against Abul Karnamankul. Terrific performance from Alexander Kizniak. Three titles over the course of the summer. European under 22 gold, European senior gold. And here on the global stage, the man from the Potalva region of Ukraine comes away with world championship gold at the expense of Abul Khan Amankul. Fifth tournament ends in defeat for Amankul, but it's been a terrific display from the man from Kazakhstan. But the moment belongs to this man. The gold medalist in the 75-kilogram middleweight division, Alexander Kizniak.